every b tree or b plus tree is of a particular order and in a b plus tree the order of the leaf node may be different from the order of the non leaf node and based on this order there is a maximum fill limit and a minimum fill condition for every node of the b plus tree the maximum condition is a non leaf node of order m can have a maximum of m children and hence a maximum of m minus 1 keys a leaf node of order n can have a maximum of n data pointers and hence n keys the minimum condition is every node except the root node should be at least half filled whenever new database records are being inserted to the database file new index records will be added to the b plus tree index on it it means new elements are being inserted to the b plus tree the insertion of these new entries to the b plus tree may lead to the disturbance of this maximum occupancy condition at some nodes then an overflow is said to have occurred on such nodes so while insertion of the new elements to the b plus tree this overflow condition should be handled and in a b plus tree always the new elements are being inserted to the leaf node so if it leads to an overflow on the leaf node such nodes will be split and the tree will be restructured if the restructuring leads to an overflow on some upper level node then such nodes should also be split and the tree should be again restructured and this should propagate till the root node if it is required till the endio tree is restructured according to the rules of the b plus tree and in a b plus tree since the structure of the leaf node is different from the structure of the non leaf node how this overflow is handled on a leaf node is different from that of the non leaf node so first let's consider the b plus tree insertion on a leaf node how the overflow on a leaf node is handled consider a leaf node whose order n equals 4 where n is the maximum number of key data pointer pairs that a leaf node can accommodate thus this leaf node can hold maximum of four key data pointer pairs and one additional node pointer which points to the next leaf node thus this leaf node is full if we are trying to insert a new entry to this leaf node then an overflow will occur to handle the overflow all the entries of this leaf node will be considered in the sorted order including the new entry we are trying to insert then the mid element will be found then this leaf node will be split into two the key corresponding to this mid element will be pushed to the parent and all the entries whose keys are less than or equal to this value will move to the left leaf node and all the uh, va entries whose keys are greater than this value move to the right leaf node that is find the mid entry by considering all the entries in the sorted order including the new entry we are trying to insert the key corresponding to the mid entry will be pushed to the parent and all the entries such that their keys less than or equal to this value will be kept on the left leaf node and all the entries such that their keys greater than this value will move to the right leaf node also it can be done this way push the mid element key to the parent all the entries such that their keys are strictly less than this value move to the left and all the entries such that their keys greater than or equal to this value move to the right so keeping more elements to the left or more elements to the right keeping it left biased or right biased that's all implementation dependent the one thing we have to consider here is the tree with the data pointer is present on the leaf node and its key is present on the parent too 
Why? Because on a B plus tree, every key with their data pointer should be present somewhere on the leaf nodes. And these keys, they are not associated with their pointers to the data record. They are just keys which are acting as the guide for the search. And in this case, we can see this key is the minimum of the keys on the, sorry, maximum of the keys on the leaf node pointed by this left subtree. And in the other case, we can see this key is the minimum of the keys on the leaf nodes, which is pointed by the right subtree. So depending on this, the search implementation varies. If we are searching for a record whose key is less than or equal to this key, then we should move to the left. If it is greater than this key, we should move to the right. And in this case, if we are searching for a record whose key is less than this value, then we should move to the left. Greater than or equal to this value, then we should move to the right. So whether we should keep more elements to the right or more elements to the left and whether the key should be the maximum from the left subtree or the minimum from the right subtree. All these depends on the implementation and once a choice is made the same rule should be used for that B plus tree always. Next, let's consider the B plus tree insertion on a non-leaf node. How the overflow is handled on a non-leaf node? Consider a non-leaf node of order m equals 5. It means it can have maximum 5 children and hence maximum 4 keys. So this node is full. If we try to insert a new key to this internal node or the root node, then an overflow will occur. So to handle the overflow, consider all the keys of this non-leaf node in the sorted order including the new key we are trying to insert and find the mid key. Then this node will be split into two and this mid key will be pushed to the parent and all the keys which are less than this key move to the left and all the keys which are greater than this key move to the right. So since we are dealing with a non-leaf node here, this key should not be placed at both the places because these are non-leaf nodes which are containing keys which will be acting as the guides for the search. In leaf nodes, we kept it on both sides because the leaf node, the leaf node should contain each and every key data pointer pair. And while splitting the non-leaf nodes also, one choice has to be made whether more elements to be kept to the left or more elements should be kept to the right. And so one choice required is whether the tree should be left biased or right biased. Then this key will be either the minimum on, sorry, the maximum on the leaf nodes of the subtree pointed by this pointer. We know that these are non-leaf nodes. So using this pointers, we will be able to reach the leaf nodes at the end. And the keys on the leaf node, the maximum on the keys on that leaf node will be the key which is present here. Otherwise, it will be the minimum from the keys on the leaf node pointed by this right pointer. We will see with examples later. So the one choice required is whether the tree should be left biased or right biased. And the other choice required is whether the key which is pushed to the parent, whether it should be the maximum from the left subtree or the minimum from the right subtree.